Hi guys, so today we are going to be doing cha-ching number 40. Can't believe we are at number 40 already, but we're just going to get into where we left off. So the first thing that I have is a pair of Levi's jeans. These sold for $20.50. I put them up on auction just because I wasn't entirely sure what to price them at. Um, when I was looking at completed, I saw some selling um, on the higher side. So I just kind of decided to let it sit on auction and see what happened. So they sold for $20.50. These actually originally belonged to my mom. I did keep uh, quite a few pairs of her Levi's jeans. They are not uh, my size, so it's, you know, kind of useless for me to really hang on to them. But since they were Levi's, I decided to keep a few pairs and try to sell some of those. So I do have a couple other pairs of her jeans. Uh, next was, um, this is probably the highest uh, priced item that sold in this chiching. I sold a vintage, this is an answer racing, like a BMX shirt. That sold for $99.99. .99. Again, I put this on auction just because um, there wasn't any um, exactly like the print that I had listed or in sold. Um, but vintage BMX apparel definitely sells really well. This was probably from like the 90s. And someone from overseas purchased this. So definitely make sure when you are listing stuff, you put, um, you mark global shipping. So, you know, someone from out of the country can still buy your items because you're opening up, um, just the... <laughs> the ability to get more views on your items and potential sales. Uh, next, oh, oh, and I got that at a yard sale, um, I think it was last summer for $2, so that was a great find. Uh, next was a B Moss jumper. This sold for $19.99. It definitely had a lot of watchers on this. I don't know exactly why <laughs> it had so many watchers, um, but it did sell. It did take a little while to sell though. It's like people were watching but not really purchasing. Uh, next was, oh, I keep forgetting to say what I spent on stuff. I'm so sorry. Uh, that was probably from a fill -a bag rummage sale. Next item was purchased at Goodwill. It is a starter Dolphins jacket. So this was a vintage, just kind of like pullover windbreaker. That sold for $35.99. And Eric actually purchased this at Goodwill for $10.50. And I'm pretty dang sure that went to a subscriber. So that's awesome. Next was a brush by a company called Wig Wigo. That sold for $19.99. Maybe it's we Wigo. I'm unsure about that. Anyway, that came from a yard sale. I probably paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it. It was new. We got uh, that India, uh, made in India brass bell that I recently got at Goodwill. I think I paid $2.99 for this and it sold for $39.99. Uh, it was new, but I took it out of the packaging and unwrapped it and everything so I could get like a nice, clear, good picture of it before I listed it. And that was really, really pretty. I thought it was gorgeous. And um, there ha was, I did put that up as a buy it now, but there was someone else selling one. Uh, but I definitely, mine was in much better condition than theirs. So I'm not sure if theirs sold yet or not. I sold a torrid tank top. This had a lemon print all over for $18.99. So summer and spring, just warmer weather in general is around the corner. So I definitely feel like uh, people are probably going to be more into buying summer related clothing. I sold a cheetah brooch pin for $12.99. I can't exactly remember where I got this. I'm sure it was from a yard sale or um, a garage sale. I would say if I had to put a price on it, like no more than a dollar, I paid for it. Another piece of clothing that sold was an Orvis floral blazer. I had this listed for a while. I always know when I have something listed for a while based on the picture because it's on my old mannequin. Uh, that sold for $22.99. 
and I'm pretty sure I probably got that at Goodwill at some point, but it was a while back. I sold those Robert Clergery clog shoes for $49.99. I had gotten them not too long ago at Goodwill. I paid about $7 and I'd say 47 cents for those at Goodwill. Um, I didn't know it at the time. I just thought that they were kind of unique. And then I searched Robert Clergery and it's definitely a higher end designer brand. So those also went overseas. I sold all three of those um, canisters that I recently got at Goodwill to the same person. Um, they were by the brand Our Name Is Mud, and it was three ceramic canisters. There were there was <laughs> there was a dreams one, a laughter, and a happiness, and they all sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents a piece and I paid $1.99 a piece for them. So those were really just unique, interesting, and I couldn't find them um, anywhere when I was doing searches and stuff like that. So I just thought those were really cool. Uh, next was a red sequoia ashtray that sold for $19.99. Eric and I picked this up at a yard sale a while back. I'd say we spent a quarter 50 cents on it maybe a dollar at most I know it wasn't much um, that had been sitting for a while uh, but it did finally sell and you know ashtrays for me like selling them are like hit or miss some sell some sit some sell well some not so much but that one was a really nice one and really large as well I sold a vintage Care Bears Cold Heart little PVC figure. This only sold for $5.99. It wasn't really worth much. Um, it would have originally come with a little mug that would have been in his hand. I got this at a yard sale for like a quarter. Um, and it did have some like paint rubs on him. So I only asked $5.99 for him. But if you ever do come across him and he still does have his mug, um, that will get you a little bit more money for him. I sold another piece of Torrid clothing. These were a red lace shorts I recently got at Goodwill. Those sold for $26.99. They were brand new. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for them. Probably around the 4 or $5 range. I sold a pair of vintage men's Hanover shoe dress boots for $29.99. I cannot for the life of me remember where I picked these up. I'm assuming it was at Goodwill, but they may have came from a yard sale. I don't remember. Uh, the next item was a Ray Dunn bunny mug. So this was Easter related. That sold for $12.99. This is actually the second time I sold this exact same mug. And I got that at a church sale and I probably paid about a quarter to 50 cents for it. I sold that Pokemon Eevee hat. I recently purchased this at Goodwill for $1.99 and I sold it for $23.50. I put that up on auction because I did not see any other of this exact style of hat listed and Pokemon is definitely um, just something that's really hot again right now. So um, I just, I had to grab that. Next was one thing of um, the things that I got from my aunt. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that uh, I recently got a bunch of vintage toys from her to resell for her. And then we split the profit on everything. So currently she's sitting at, um, I owe her $136 so far. So we're doing really well with the stuff that she gave me. And I still have lots more. Um, I plan on trying to go to her house next week so I can pay her for the items that she sold so far and see if she wants to give me any more things. Um, there was a mask figure that, um, or car, and the figure's wearing the wrong mask and it's probably on another figure that she has at her house so I'm like waiting to list that. I'm in the last one. It's not in this cha-ching, but it did really, really well. So um, I just want to make sure we have like completed 
um, pieces of things before I go and list those. So this was for a lot of vintage Fisher Price little people. This was just for the people. I put that up on auction and it sold for $43. So that's really awesome. Um, I do have some other vintage Fisher Price little people stuff to list of hers. Next was a Victoria's Secret body mist in the scent Pure Seduction that sold for $10.99. I got this at a yard sale. I do believe I paid $2 for that. Um, I'm pretty sure. So not like a whole lot of profit there, but I think I had that in my collect my personal collection, but I just wasn't using it. I sold a little green art glass vase for $14.99. This was really pretty. I had it for a while though. It um, took a while to sell and I got that at a yard sale and I think I paid about 50 cents for it, maybe a quarter. This next item was also something that belonged to my aunt that I sold for her. This was a vintage baby toy. It was pink rubber and squeaked when you squeezed it. And it was shaped like a fork with this like creepy bunny face on. I put that up on auction with a starting price of $12.99 and that is what it ended at. Again, next item was my aunt's. This was for a vintage Sanrio My Melody book. This is just a one of those little chunky like board books. It was from 1982. Again, I put it up on auction with a start price of $12.99 and that is what it sold for. Next item was just a small plate by Stengel Pottery. This actually went to a subscriber. It sold for $5.99 and I got that at a yard sale and I believe I paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it. I sold a pair of men's Wrangler pants. These were vintage. They still had the tag, so new old stock. Those sold for $18.99. And they came from a large lot of like old Western wear that I had purchased a while back. I still have some stuff that I need to list um, from that. Uh, next was those Miss Me jeans I recently purchased at Goodwill. I put these up on auction and they sold for $53.07. Miss Me is just a very expensive um, denim brand to look out for. They typically have just like crazy like blinged out stitching and rhinestones and stuff like that on like the pocket areas. And I paid I'd say like between six or seven dollars for those is what um, Goodwill charges for their jeans. Um, next was a snow globe by a company called Reed and Barton. It was kind of like a jungle themed. I've had this for a while. I purchased it at Goodwill. Um, I would say I paid about three ninety nine or four ninety nine for it. I'm unsure. It was really really cute, but again, it was sitting for a while. That sold for twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents. It was also musical as well. It did play music. Next was a pair of leggings. These had a star print on. Um, they were by a company called Simply Emma and those sold for $12.99. They came from one of the garbage bags of clothes I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. And the last thing that I have for this cha-ching was a Talbot's blazer. Again, a clothing item I've had for a while. Uh, but did currently sell at $22.99. So that is everything for this cha-ching video. Um, I'm so excited to even like get to the next one because um, the stuff that I'm, like I was saying, selling for my aunt is, you know, selling quickly and really well. And when I called her the other day to like let her know about, um, you know, like what I owed her and everything like that, she was so happy. So I'm just excited uh, for her and it makes me excited too because I love listing it and like looking at everything because it brings back so many memories for me as well. Um, and then usually at the end of these videos I kind of talk about a little bit of any like problems or just like things that have arisen. And in my last cha-ching, I really didn't have much to talk about. Everything was kind of like flowing smoothly. And same with this cha-ching. I haven't had any real issues with any of the um, items that sold or anything like that. 
I will have something to talk about in my next Cha Ching. It wasn't in this one yet, um, so I don't have anything to talk about um, that particular uh, item yet. Uh, but overall, things are moving along smoothly. And the one thing that I've been noticing, I don't know if anyone else is noticing this, but I've been seeing an uptick in clothing sales, which is awesome because I feel like sometimes clothing can be, um, you know, something that sits for a while, just waiting around for the right buyer who's looking for that particular piece in that particular size kind of thing. And I definitely notice an uptick in clothing sales. So that is awesome. Uh, but that is pretty much everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments, and I will see you next time.